Hello and welcome to Body Bags. My name is James and I'm your Sunday Night Reviewer. And this evening I thought I would bring you the 1988 classic, Hell Comes to Frogtown, with our very own Rowdy Roddy Piper. Well, this kind of is batshit crazy, this film. It, it kind of really is. That cover kind of t tells pretty much how the film is. You know, you have some covers and they're very uh, misleading to the film. I think this is like pretty, pretty kind of, yeah, you got craziness with mutant frogs. So we are in a post-apocalyptic world. And there's been like the fallout has turned many frogs into mutant people, basically. Um, and it's made many, many, many people in the world infertile. In fact, there's very few people that are fertile, men or women. And our main character, Sam Hell, happens to be one of these fertile chaps. And there's also a group of fertile women that have been captured by the mutant frogs and taken to Frogtown. Uh, so there's some remnants of a government and it's an all-female government and they want to ensure the procreation and future growth of humankind, basically. So, yeah, they track down Sam um, through <laughs> as basically this line of... Um, pregnancies uh, that is knocking women up uh, kind of amusing that because apparently there's not many people that are able to basically give birth many women but there's a whole line of them so they can track him by that so that's very strange and they kind of ignore these pregnant women and uh, they just want to focus on the ones which they had that had been taken to Frogtown uh so he's just very very funny how this is all put together the acting and that he's his cocky nomad sort of thing and it's funny and that they basically make him sign a contract and wear this chastity belt that will explode if he kind of tries to take it off and when he runs because there's many times he keeps trying to escape so that they, they hook him up to this plan that he will help uh capture recapture these women and bring them back and then his job is to have sex with them and create babies but he wants none of this he, he wants to escape and many times he's running off and these different things and he's getting his ball zapped by this kind of uh electrified chastity belt and it's controlled by this kind of woman who's in charge like looking after him her name is spangle and she has these earrings that uh one controls the zapping and one is the kind of locator to where he is so he's with spangle and this other military woman and they kind of venture into Frogtown to try and track down these women um yeah they have this kind of plan it kind of goes all a bit crazy here you can see uh it's like spangle is like in the plan, she is Sam's sex slave because it's all about the males have the power in Frogtown. These male frogs, there are female frogs, uh, <laughs> weird saying that, but yeah, they're, they're, like they're, the men have, have all the power, it seems to be. And, um, yeah, they get captured. Um, it's by Bull, which is this kind of right hand man, this kind of henchman of. The main frog, which is Commander Toti, but Bull is this like roided up kind of frog. He beats up Sam and he's basically like torturing him, sort of thing. He's got his chainsaw trying to take off his chastity belt. It's quite amusing. And meantime, we have um, Spangle and she's kind of going to be maybe a sex slave. So she has to do the dance of the three snakes to kind of appease commander toti and it actually is that 
she arouses Commander Toti, and these are the dance of the three snakes. He has three frog penises, and he gets super hot up and horny, and he's ready for all the loving and stuff. It's just, it's just funny. It's just really funny stuff. Um, it's kind of like Rowdy Roddy Piper all the way through. He's like, this isn't a serious project, and he's just taking the, not taking the piss. He just seems to be having a lot of fun with it. And, like, afterwards, like, well, yeah, I think, like, that that's kind of pretty much the film. Yeah, we, we, there, there, there's kind of, like, a love thing going on. We, like, Sam and Spangle, they really don't like each other to start with. And in the end, they're all kind of into each other and stuff like that. And it's very kind of, kind of like a family kind of fantasy film with, like, a love thing. But in an adult way, with all this mutant frogs and sleaziness and just rowdy roddy piper having a laugh sort of thing it's it's good fun it is a good fun movie and there's the extras on this this is the vinegar syndrome release and you have like roddy piper talking about this it's it's very very funny interview uh it's a perfect kind of accompaniment to the movie um if you've not watched this Took me a while to watch this, to be honest. I was um in an ring for many, <clears throat> many sales and that. I get the Arrow one, and then this got the release, the BT release from Vinegar Syndrome. I was like, ah, let's just jump on it. Why not? Let's get this film. And it's a lot of fun. I haven't seen the second one. I believe it's the same director, and it's like Robert Tsar, who takes up the role of Sam Hell, I believe. Yeah, the Maniac Cops, Robert Tsar, and Blue Underground's Robert Tsar. I believe it's him. But I, I'm not sure. I've not seen that one. But like I said, this is a recommended movie. It's a lot of fun. It's really stupid, but it's entertaining all the way through. And it's I wouldn't say it's like a so bad. It's good. It's it's pretty fun. It's a well put together movie. And it's like, yeah, it's it, the, the whole thing is a fun trip. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll catch you guys next week. Thank you. Bye bye.